has that fire alarm Sam is always cool and calm If you're stuck, give him a shout He'll be there to help you out So move aside, make way For Fireman Sam, cause he's gonna save the day Fireman Sam, cause he's made to the call Sam is the hero next door Then open the paper out and fold again along the diagonal. Fold along lines E to F and G to H to lift the wingtips and there we are. Flying Ace Norman Price is ready to kick to the skies! Ah, oh, hello Dillis. And Sam, watch this! We haven't got time for any of your shenanigans now, Norman Price. It's Fire Prevention Day, and Fireman Sam and I have a lot of work to do. Come in, Station Officer Steele. Never mind my Norman. Sorry, Norman. Maybe you can show me some other time. Nothing to worry about, Dillis. This is just a routine check to make sure the supermarket is fire safe. That's what Fire Prevention Day is all about. Um, it's safety. Uh, Station Officer Steele, would you mind steadying the stepladder while I check the smoke alarm? Of course, Sam. Safety first. Do you test your smoke alarms regularly, Dillis? Oh, yes. Very regularly. <whistles> oh! What's that terrible noise? That's the oh! test, Dillis. Oh, to show that the smoke noise. alarm is working... Oh! Great fires of London! What was that? A bat! Oh! And it's caught in my ear! Oh! Oh, oh yeah, what is it? Oh, oh ma'am! Norman oh, Price! That's terrible! Oh, no. Help! Help! Stiff up a lip, Dillis. I'll get it. It's not actually a bat. <gasps> it's a beauty! Oh, Station Officer Steele. You're too kind. <laughs> what? Uh, no, when I said beauty, I meant, um... If uh, you two are quite finished, shall we check the fire exit? Well, that exit seems to be working. No. Station Officer Steele is no fun at all. There must be somebody around here who'd enjoy a good air show. Uh, everything seems to be in order, Dillis, but you do need to be careful about storing empty boxes and waste packaging. Paper and cardboard can be a real fire hazard. Well, I think you've both been very helpful. The least I can do is offer you a cup of tea. Um, uh, uh, no, no, thank you, uh, Mrs. Price. I really think Sam and I should be on our way now. Uh, we, we have a lot of calls to make. Um, huh? Ow! Where uh, did that come from? <laughs> Norman Price! Huh? Oh, not him again! Come here! I thought it was Fire Prevention Day, not Follow Norman Price Day. But at least I know one place I won't bump into Station Officer Steele. <laughs> Who ever heard of preventing fires at a fire station? <laughs> This is going to be the best one yet. Flying Ace Norman Price is back in business. Now to find someone who appreciates aeroplanes. I chop up a tit pop, I love stew. I slip stop a peely pop, yes I do. I peel pop a carrot top, check it in two. I got to get my teeth in something to chew. Thank you very much. Uh, what brings you into my kitchen today, Norman Price? Nothing. I mean, I wanted to show you something. Something really cool. <laughs> you can't pull the wool over my eyes, Norman Price. I know exactly what you're up to. 
You do? Yes. I know how much you love carrots. What? <laughs> Stay away from that cooker. Out of my kitchen. Go on, out. Uh, out. I, no, I, I just but it, oh, uh, but I, no, I don't. A chip up, a keep up, I love stew. A chip up, a peanut up, yes I do. A peep up, a carrot up, chicken too. I gotta keep my teeth in something to chew. Ridlington, how's the dinner coming along today? Nothing burnt, I trust? <laughs> I've just put the stew on to simmer. It should be ready in about an hour. Very good. Fire prevention is hungry work, you know. <gasps> I say! <gasps> Station Officer Steele! Norman Price! Uh, stop right there, young man! Hmm. Not a bad little plane. Norman! Hello, Sam. How are you getting on with your paper aeroplanes? Terrible. Nobody else in Ponty Pandy even likes paper planes. <laughs> Great balls of fire! Oh, 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 in the kitchen! Fire in the fire station kitchen! Oh, I say. Cut the gas supply, Elvis. Gas supply off! Elvis Cridlington, there was a fire extinguisher right next to the fire exit. Sorry, sir. I think I panicked. What about my stew? Oh! <coughs> You've overcooked the dinner before, Elvis, but never that bad. Firemen are supposed to put out fires, Cridlington, not start them, especially not on fire prevention day. I don't know how it happened. There's something here that might provide a clue. Aha! A paper plane. Perhaps that can tell us who the culprit is. Ah, yes. It's a letter. Uh, there's a name on it. Dear Station Officer Steele. Uh, oh, Station Officer Steele! It was you! No, it wasn't. It was Norman! <gasps> Norman Price! Oh, sorry. It was an accident. I was only trying to find someone who liked paper planes as much as I do. <clears throat> I see. Well, perhaps I should have a word with the lad, Sam. Set him on the straight and narrow, as it were. Good idea, sir. Oh, poor Norman. It probably was an accident. I, I hope Station Officer Steele won't be too hard on him. <laughs> Don't worry, Elvis. I think Station Officer Steele and Norman will reach a happy understanding. The first rule of paper aeroplanes, Norman, is to be careful where you throw them. Now, watch this loop the loop. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! Cool! This next trick's called a barrel roll. Ah! Wow! How did you make it do that? Pull your arm back, let it fall! Look at it! Sam is the hero now. 